Hey there and welcome to a quick screencast where I'll be talking about Couchbase Lite Viewer. It's a really great tool to inspect your database content when developing your application with Couchbase Lite. And we'll take a look at how to use it on iOS and Android. Uh, first we need to install it. It's a Mac application. So here we have the GitHub repository which I will link to in the description. And the releases tab here you have the latest release so I'll install that one. And then you can unzip that file and it should open the application on your machine. Now let's take a look at a simple iOS application we have here. It's a simple to do application. I already have a list here. You can use the window app browser menu, which will then show you the list of simulators you have installed. You can choose the one uh, you're running your app on, the app bundle, and then double click on the database name. And this will then show the database content in the list. Here I see that I have two documents so far. The revision number is displayed as well as the content of the document. And you can click on those rows and it will show all of the properties. What's really great about this is that uh, you can continue working with your application here. And for example, let's add a, a picture from the uh, camera roll and a title. And then when I click enter here, you see that in the viewer, it was added automatically. It's like having real-time debugging where you see exactly what's in your, in your database. The attachments field here indicates that this document references an attachment, but it's not stored on the document itself, and it can't be viewed in the viewer. So instead, what we can do is right-click in the app browser and reveal in Finder, and that will also have the folder which contains all of the attachments. You can also update properties from the viewer by double clicking and then just updating the text. And when you click enter, you still have then to uh, actually press the save button to persist this as a new revision on the document. And you can see that the revision number here, the generation number was actually incremented. And if I uh, drill out and then drill back in, I see that the text updated as expected. Now let's take a look at how to use the viewer if you're developing an Android application. So I'm going to close everything here and I'm going to switch here to the Android application. It's the same list and we're just going to um, basically try and do the same operations. In this case, I'm actually going to add the attachment and the text right from the beginning. I'm going to select an image in the library and then save that image. And now we have to locate the .cblite file we can then open in the viewer. And it's a bit different on Android because the emulator is running as a standalone VM so we have to first get the file out of the VM into the host file system and then open it in the viewer. To do that, we can use the adb shell command. From the documentation, we know that Couchbase Lite will persist the database file into a directory uh, called data slash data slash the app ID slash files. And now I see a few files as well as a folder here that will have all the attachments. To copy that file to the host file system, I'm going to use the adb pull command, but first I'm going to copy the um, directory where that is located. So adb pull, and uh, and then I'm going to actually just copy that folder with all of, of its content into uh, the files uh, folder locally. Once that is done, you can then open the files folder in your finder, and notice how here that database file is actually automatically recognized as a Couchbase Lite viewer format. So I can double click on it and I then see the three documents. So one of them is a profile document. Another one is the task with the attachment here, the, the attachment metadata. And the last one is the list document, which here is called screencast. If I change that uh, task here and I uncheck, check, uncheck, it will persist to the database but it won't be reflected in the viewer because we had to pull it out into the host file system. That's the difference between iOS and Android. You won't have sort of the real time update in the viewer, but it's very useful in any case when you want to uh, see what's going on in your database. And so that's pretty much it for the viewer. I really, really encourage you to use it in development. It will make your, you know, your experience much better, much easier, and ultimately you'll ship your features and your application faster.